Okay, so um, this is a video tutorial um, which is hopefully going to show you how to install and configure Valve Hammer for the Steam version of uh, Counter Strike 1.6. Okay, so I uploaded a archive uh, zip of um, the files you need. So that includes Hammer. Um, some build tools, ZLHT, just got um, some stuff which we'll cover later. Um, there's uh, other things as well which you need to configure in Hammer, which I'll go through in a minute. So basically, you need to just un unzip the uh, files into a folder. Once you've done that, open Hammer. Uh, this will come up. It doesn't really matter what you press because uh, there's no help file. You might as well press no, but if you do press yes, it's just going to tell you there's no help file and you're going to go here anyway. So, first thing we need to do is go into game configuration here. If you don't have this window already up, then just go to tools, click options, and here we go. So, first we go to edit, click add. Doesn't really matter what you call it, but I'm going to call mine Counter Strike. Okay, so we add game data files. What we need to do here is go to where we uninstalled, sorry, where we unzipped uh, Hammer 2. We need to add both of these, so add the first one and then the second. Okay, now we need to go down to game executable directory. Right, so we need to go to our Steam folder. Yours is probably going to be in your local C drive or something. As you can see, I've got a load of um, hard drives, and mine is in this one. So once you go into your C drive, it'll probably be here. Program files. Uh, then you go down to Steam, Steam, Steam apps. Common, Half Life, and yep. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, there you go. Now we need to add the mod directory, and that's going to be the same place except C Strike. So back in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Half Life, and then Counter Strike. And then this one is going to be the same as this. So I'm just going to copy this. RMF directory, you can just leave that as it is, and build programs. Okay, game executable. We want to set that to um, go into your Steam folder, Steam apps, common Half Life, and then select Half Life.exe. And to be honest, <coughs> this part is so when you um, compile your map, the game will automatically load and load the map. Um, but I've not actually managed to get this part working, so this this value may be wrong, but it won't really affect how you uh, you make maps. So then you need to load Counter Strike yourself and load the map. But we can go over that later. So then we need to add um, the ZLHT build um, program. So we need to go to our Hammer folder. Um, go into ZLHT. Okay, so we want to add CSG here. Then we want to add the BSP. Then we want to add Fizz. And then finally, we want to add Rad. Okay, so we're done there. Oh, sorry. We need to place compiled maps in the directory before running the game. Okay, so now we want to go back to the Counter Strike directory. If you're lazy like me, you can just copy this and then change it to Counter uh, C Strike. Okay, and then maps, because that's the folder you want the maps to go into. That's where the game reads the maps from. So now we're done with this part, we want to go to textures. Um, I've already got these added, so I'm just going to remove these so you, um, you can see how it's supposed to be done. So we want to add a WAD file. Um, again, we want to go to our Half-Life um, folder and then C-Strike. Okay, so there's a lot of wads in here. <coughs> Some of them are custom from maps. So if you're going to use a custom one, 
um, well it's best not to right now actually because you need to add um, resource files you need to upload those words as well with your maps so let's just keep it simple for now and just add the counter strike word and then we also want to add the half-life one itself so we go into the half-life folder go down to valve and then half-life let me add that okay yep and then it's done so now we go on new and I'm just showing you that this is set up because um, this is going to be in a different tutorial on how to actually make a starting map um, but now everything is set up um, and you're ready to go so if you want to continue and see how to make the basis the, the basics of a um, jailbreak map with the gun room uh, spawn point point cells cage uh, and a button and doors then um, watch my next video okay